I recently heard some concerning information about salt that I hadn't heard before, so let's take a listen to this clip from Dr. Clapper and then have a look at a really important study. We absolutely need some, some salt in your diet, we need sodium, and, but it's in the celery, it's in the veggies, everything has a little bit of sodium in it. You know, very few people need to add additional salt. There are some folks, uh, the bell-shaped curve of human beings, there are some folks who need a little extra sodium, their blood pressure is too low uh, without it. So the best way to look at this uh, is one, you want to avoid a high salt diet. Why? Because one, the salt uh, stiffens your artery walls and makes you retain fluid that will raise your blood pressure and set you up for heart attacks and strokes. Uh, but also we're learning that a high salt diet stimulates uh, certain immune cells, your T817 helper cells, uh, and that opens the door to autoimmune diseases. Who knew? But a high salt diets can lead to lupus uh, and other autoimmune diseases. So between the high blood pressures and strokes and the uh, autoimmune diseases, uh, you don't want to be eating a high salt diet. Now, people say, well, we stopped using salt shakers at the table. We're okay. Turns out that that's not where most of the salt comes from in the in the standard American diet. It comes from the processed foods and, and you can't control it. But it's already in the spaghetti sauce at the Italian restaurant. It's in the soy sauce in the Asian restaurant. It's in the frozen dinners. It's processed food that contains all this sodium. Uh, even the veggie hot dogs, are, they're full of salt. And that's why you want to, as much as possible, stay out of restaurants if you can. At least hold it to a minimum you know restaurant food is full of salt and sugar and fat tastes good but it's really not healthy for you certainly minimize those processed food uh, and if you think you need a little bit of salt turns out that a pinch literally a pinch of salt about an eighth of a teaspoon on the surface of your veggies because the salt crystals land on the surface of the vegetables when you eat it you get this big salty taste hit for very little actual sodium you know that really is the best way to, to get salts in your diet is a pinch of salt on your vegetables uh, a pinch th uh, three meals a day or a, a little spray of tamari sauce will give you just a couple hundred milligrams of sodium. That's a safe amount of salt to use there. These high salt diets are dangerous. They, they lead to strokes and autoimmune diseases. So we knew from cell culture experiments that increased sodium chloride can lead to a dramatic stimulation of T helper 17 cells. And in the presence of elevated salt concentrations, this increase can be 10 times higher than under usual conditions. And the cells went through further changes, resulting in aggressive T helper 17 cells. In animal studies, increased dietary salt intake resulted in a more severe form of experimental autoimmune encephalomyelitis, which is a model for multiple sclerosis, one of the most devastating autoimmune diseases. Recently, researchers have hypothesized that the autoreactive Th17 cells may play a pivotal role in the development of multiple sclerosis. Researchers also found that the number of pro-inflammatory Th17 cells in the nervous system of the mice increased dramatically under a high salt diet. The researchers showed that the high salt diet accelerated the development of helper T cells into pathogenic Th17 cells. When these scientists looked more closely, they found that the effects in cell culture experiments show that the increased production of aggressive Th17 cells is regulated by salt on the molecular level. They want to now go on to study psoriasis, another autoimmune disease that has strong Th17 components. This is because the skin plays a key role in salt storage and affects the immune system. They want to see if psoriasis patients could alleviate their symptoms by reducing their salt intake. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos.